and you may begin. Good luck. I said quiet. I can't answer the question. What? I can't answer this question. It doesn't make any sense. Then miss it out and move on to the next. I can't do that. I have to finish what I started, but I can't do it. So this first question isn't what she expected. Right. Enough. Out. No, but there's still time left. It makes no difference. You've already failed for disturbing the exam. Out. But, but I didn't mean to. But you did. Out! Sorry. All right, show's over. Get on with it. What's happened? I couldn't answer the question. Okay. Why are you out here? I had to come out. I was disturbing everyone else. But I couldn't help it. I know. Why don't you come with me, huh? for coming. I just wanted to remind everyone that this is exam week. Yeah, we have noticed. Really? Not from what I observed this morning. Yeah, we saw you doing your little inspection tour. Most of you seem to be using it for catching up on lesson plans or bopping away to music. Some of you, who shall remain nameless, were too busy flirting with each other to notice what was going on in their own classroom. Uh, just a minute. We're not sitting the exams. It's not us that's supposed to be under scrutiny here. Good job. Because you'd have failed. Can you explain to me what happened with Carla Bentham? Oh. She had one of her funny turns. No. Don't you mean she responded badly to the stress? Like I said. But you knew that was a possibility. I spoke to you about coping strategies before the exam. And excluding her from the classroom wasn't one of them. Excuse me, but I was all out of patchouli oil and whale music. Well, you could have just talked it down quietly. No, how am I supposed to do that under exam conditions? It's a mock exam. So? So, that's the point of mock exams, to ease the kids' fears, show them that it's not as bad as they imagined. It's not my problem. It's everybody's problem. You lot are supposed to show them that the exams actually matter. Be a supportive presence. Some of those kids revise really hard, too hard, some of them. Oh. Poor little stressed out souls getting ulcers before they're 18. <laughs> Do me a favour. So you don't think the exams are stressful? No, not anymore. It's all open text and uh, calculators. All I was allowed in an exam was a biro. Anyone else feel like this? Well, I, I have to say, Eddie, in my experience with Chloe and Mika, but the kids just wind themselves up. Exams aren't as tough as they used to be. Yep. That's why the pass rate's gone up. So? You all reckon you could just walk them? Care to prove it? You've all got to stick around this afternoon anyway, for the parents' evening. What? You want us to sit an exam? 
Not if you don't think you can pass. Oh, no, I'll pass. I just don't need to prove it. Right. OK. Um, a bottle of whiskey to every teacher who gets a grade B or above. <laughs> Interested parties, meet me in the cooler after school. You're on. Right. Bottle of whiskey. Look at this. Amazing what you can achieve with a bribe. It's a prize, not a bribe. Tell yourself what you need to, Grantley. Are you ready? Can we just get on with it? OK. You've got half an hour to answer one essay question. Exam conditions. No talking. No passing notes. No outside help. I, I wasn't going to use... Begin. Hang on a minute. This is, uh... Shush. No talking. This isn't an English exam. I don't remember saying there was going to be. Uh, I don't know anything about physics. Yeah, it's been years since I did geography. Oh. You only know the one subject. GCSE candidates have to do at least five. But I thought it was a breeze. Don't know the born and all that. Ridiculous. Did I mention I was going to post the results on the school notice board? So a walkout constitutes an instant failure. Anybody feeling a little bit of pressure? And stop writing, please. Jasmine. Uh, just a minute. <sighs> Thank you, all of you. You'll get your results tonight. <sighs> Could be worse. Could make you wait three months like the pupils have to. I just think I'm dead. Oh, I don't know, but my mum will kill me if I failed. <laughs> Thank you. What about you, Grantley? <laughs> Not as easy as you thought, was it? Well, it has been over 30 years since I last sat an exam. I'd have breezed it if it had been English. I might be a bit rusty on my other subjects. Oh, but they're so much easier these days. Yeah, all right, all right, you made your point. Anyone get that bottle of whiskey? Only the one. <laughs> 